So, hi everyone, you can see we're back here today to start to make our Kid Fleisch One Piece Legro Bodysuit. First off, what you'll need is a sharp pair of scissors. That is best when cutting this fabric, honestly, a sharp pair of scissors is your best option. So, then what you're going to need is some yellow Legro fabric. So this is yellow four-way stretch Legro fabric. The spell will be in the description below. We have some red also for the pants, and then we have some black. So I picked up some Lycra in my local fabric store, that is the Paragon Fabrics. Guys, if you want to go in store or online, remember to purchase four-way stretch. Okay, that's four-way stretch Lycra fabric. That means you'll not have, you know, no hiccups when actually trying the thing on. It will stretch and it will outfit anything. But right now what we're going to do is actually start to cut our shirt. So make sure maybe you have a phone or something for reference pictures, a guide to work off of, and I'm using a glue gun. So right now what you're going to do is fold it in half so that you have two sides, one front, one back. You can see I just folded over the fabric and then I'm just about to cut the shirt shape. So what I'll get is an old t-shirt or just a t-shirt that I like the fit of. You can see right here, this is actually a skinny fit uh, compression shirt. So this is just something that you wear underneath your normal shirts to keep warm and stuff. Right now I'm just about to fold this in. So if you want to use a skinny fit t-shirt that you own, know something that's not too baggy because again remember it's light grip fabric and this does stretch in and out. So here I'm actually taking in the sides and the arms. So I actually tuck in the arm curves and I tuck in the sides right now just to thin it in slightly so that I know it will fit nice and tight. So you can see right here the arms are folded and also so are the sides. You don't have to do this, it's completely up to you guys, whatever size you want to go for. But first I start to cut at the shoulders. So I cut out at the shoulders first and actually cut the design out halfway. Okay? So you can see I've added in a neck piece slightly but that, that didn't work out so I'm not matching that. But here I just cut up the shoulder line, cut halfway across. And then to get an even symmetrical design I'll actually, you know, I mark it out here with a pen. You can see the middle point right now. And I'll mark out where the arm curve is. You can see I just cut a slight arm curve right here. That's where your sleeve is going to go. If you haven't watched any of the process videos guys so far, I would suggest maybe go and watch some. They're really good and I just use the same process over and over again like so. I marked out my middle point, folded over the line to make sure that I get an even symmetrical cut for the shirt. Okay, so both sides are going to be the same size. Uh, they're going, both going to be even so that I'm not getting any misshapen, you know, fits anywhere. I just cut around the same shape that I've cut. Make sure I get a nice arm curve in there and then cut down the sides guys. Okay, so now we'll have our front and back for our shirt base. So here I actually cut a curve for the neck. So you can see we have both sides of our shirt, front and back. And the neck piece, I did cut a slight curve just so that it would fit around the neck more easily. Right now we have the red pants. So this is the red trousers that I'm going to actually sew on to the Kid Fly suit. If you want to go and know how to make these, you can go and check out how to make a spidey tight fit trousers. Okay, and I, I know I kind of hiccup there, but I have a whole process video on how to make Spider-Man tight fit trousers in the description down below. The link is down below in the description, guys. And again, it is pretty easy. Okay, so no point in me making, you know, another whole process video when the exact same thing exists out there. And all you have to do is just sew these both together. So if you make your red pants and your yellow shirt, sew them together like so, you will have your one piece bodysuit for a Kid Flash costume. Okay, now any method can work. I would suggest sewing would work and I'm getting called for my breakfast, guys. Here we are with the rest of the video. This part is actually the extra neck piece that I cut. So the original one that I had previously cut didn't fit. So I just cut a bigger piece. I'm going to sew this on and it will fit a lot better. It did fit a lot better. So thank God. So if you ever are worried about another piece, guys, and thinking it's too small, you could just cut that off and maybe cut a slightly bigger piece and reattach it using the same method. Okay, but right now I actually cut along the bottom right here, fold it in half, and then I cut along again so that I make sure both sides are even. Okay, you, you'll never really want to cut a diagonal line down the bottom of your shirt. You know, it's really bad. I've done it a couple of times. Things didn't match up right. So again, folding over your design, and cutting on both sides will give you an even symmetrical cut for an overall shape. Okay guys, 
Right now what we're going to do is actually sew this shirt base front and back together, sew on the neck piece and again I'll actually be just cutting off some of the pants here. So if you see, the Kid Flash design is more around the yellow and the red meet at around his hip and waist area. So this is what I'm trying to, you know, reimagine right now. I know I have too much excess fabric on the top and bottom of the shirt and pants. So I cut those off and make sure that they are going to go to the right size that I want. So here we are with the rest of the video guys. I'm about to sew these together using an industrial grade sewing machine. But here, I forget what I'm cutting. So you know things are bad when you forget where you are and you actually forgot you even recorded this part. So right now what I have is two sides of the yellow lycra fabric folded on top of one another and what we're going to do is actually cut our sleeves. So this is going to be the arm portion for your Kid Flash uh, shirt base. What we're going to do is just take some sleeves. If you have an old baseball t-shirt, if you have a nice compression shirt or a sports shirt that you like the fit of, you can just reimagine or copy the design of the arm shape. Okay, so if you look at any sleeves from an old jacket, from an old jumper, anything, you can actually copy or reimagine that shape, make it smaller, make it bigger to fit your purposes. So if it was a big baggy sleeve, all you would have to do would skinny it in slightly or thin it in, and that would create your nice thin sleek sleeve shape. What I'm doing is actually using the Spider-Man sleeve that I used off of the other videos, you know, so if you want to go back and check out that and how I cut those, you can. But again, if you have a thin baseball jumper, use that or any other jumper that you have. Keep completely use the design. All these shapes and all these templates are reimagined from your own clothing. That's how I figured it all out. Okay, guys? Again, I just take the same shape, place it on top of the yellow fabric again, and this is going to give me both sleeves for my shirt base. Okay? Two sides of each, front and back. Sew that together, and I have a nice tight fit sleeve all in all. Here we are with the rest of the video guys, thank you so much for watching and please let me know down below if you use this for any other cosplay in your imagination. Here we are, bye guys. Also for the arm curve, you know where it meets your shoulder and your armpit, you'll be cutting an arm curve, make that a bit big. I would say make it bigger than originally on the shirt or if you are copying you know any kind of shirt shape I would say make that arm curve really big or just make it match up you can see now I'm about to match up the arm curve pieces so right here that is where the sleeve will meet the actual thing so you can see the shoulder to the armpit right there and that seam line this is where I'm about to sew up right in here make sure that arm curve shape is a bit bigger. You'll always want to make sure you have enough room to maneuver about your arms and make sure you get into the shirt itself. Okay, a lot of popping has happened when I've did it too tight, when I've made it too small. I could hardly move and I got a lot of good, just restrictions within the armpit and the shoulder region, guys. <laughs> so I'm about to sew this all together again using an industrial grade sewing machine. Also on the back, I'm about to place a zipper, but I'm using an industrial grade sewing machine that's cost a couple of hundred pounds. You can pick up a cheap one for I think a hundred dollars or a bit more online. And right now, I'll just sew around the edges. If you are going to sew anything, guys, always start with your shoulders. Okay, so you can see right now, I'm about to start with the shoulders right here. That's so that the shirt stays in shape and it stays in place the whole way. When you are sewing, fabric tends to move about a lot and sewing at the shoulders will keep everything in place and all in one piece okay thank you so much for watching this has just been the sewing process I get a lot of questions of people asking me John how do you do this so I open up the light and you can see I have the sewing seam lanes right here I'm getting called for my breakfast again thank you so much for watching everyone here we are with the rest of the video
So here I've actually sewn, you can see the arm curve and the sleeve to the shirt itself. And it's just a simple sewing line guys, honestly that's all there is to it. Make sure you give yourself enough room like I said before. But again these cheap, cheap sewing machines can be picked up virtually anywhere. Okay, so here we actually have everything sewn together. So I've actually sewn the pants to the shirt itself, I've sewn the sleeves to the shirt, and everything is now a one piece bodysuit. So to actually find the middle line within the back of the suit to add the zip on, I'm going to fold it in half. So again, this technique is used throughout the whole process of folding it in half, finding out where your middle point is, and then, you know, making adjustments, making sure everything is even. But I'm about to cut down this line right here. You can see I folded it over. Cut down the middle line at the back, and the zipper is just going to be placed in there so I can get the suit on and off. Okay? These one-piece costumes, they are perfect when you actually do find a, a red zipper. Here I'm going to add a blue one. Maybe a yellow one would have been better, but blue is all I had at the moment, and it was the perfect size. So that's what we're going to use, guys. Don't be afraid to, you know, use whatever you have at the time, and then when you go to make a new suit, you can just upgrade that. Alright? So here we are with the rest of the video, and thank you so much for watching so far, everyone. These zips can be purchased online or in art shops, if you check about, guys. Thank you so much for watching so far. So, hi everyone, <coughs> you can see we've actually just added on the zipper here at the back. Now I've went over the sewing and all the edges I think around four times, maybe five, just to make sure here in the armpits I've actually like went back and forth, you know you can double stitch on a sewing machine. There should be a button right next to the needle and stuff uh, where you can actually double stitch and double back. And basically I've just went into the armpits, made sure I've got one good unison line going around the whole suit. But what I've done here, where you, you again as I say, you can go and check out the how to make Spider-Man tight fit trousers. Just change the lycra fabric to red. You can pick up red lycra fabric in any fabric store if you're in the US. That could be Joann's or Michael's. You could go online on eBay or Amazon. Honestly, there's a load of different vendors. I get mine from the Paragon Fabrics. Again, just change the blue four-way stretch lycra to red, and you will may have your tight fit trousers. And what I've done again with the Spider-Man, similar to it, I've just sewn it to the red or the yellow shirt that we've made. So that is a four-way stretch yellow lycra shirt sewn to four-way stretch lycra trousers. And it's simple, everyone. Honestly, just a shirt and a pair of trousers sewn together in the middle. But you can see if I turn it around to the yellow right here, and the camera focuses in all those black lines again so I need it up to here that is actually where I have the line so this bottom line coming along right here at the bottom that is where the line is and this is how much I've actually cut of my excess so I didn't need all this fabric I actually wanted the yellow nice and tied up at my waist like it is in the Young Justice or any kind of design that he has going on also the lightning bolts will be coming around my waist so I wanted to make sure I got that lining up right Again, that is the excess fabric, so all of this right here I shouldn't have or I don't need, so I'm about to cut that off. So yeah, just make sure you cut your pieces, <coughs> pardon me, maybe bigger rather than smaller because it is a lot easier to take away than to add to something. Alright, so the waist here we're just about to cut off, but we'll get back to the zipper. And the zipper, actually we'll turn it inside out, so that's just to see all the sewing lines going around the edges. Get that up here. So you can actually see just the lane, the black lane going around everything. And then up and down, I will be doing a video with the good camera quality. But you can just see down the edges, like here, all the seam lanes. And then you turn it inside out, and you have that nice, that again, you can see it's just a nice tight fit to my arm. But we'll turn this inside out. Okay guys, so you can see we have our basic shirt shape right here, we have our arms, they are a nice tight fit, they're thin enough, but if you flip it around to the back here, we've just added on the zip, so you see we just folded over our design to make sure we got the middle line, I cut up a line into that, now adding 
a zip to lycra it is quite difficult sometimes because it can catch it's stretchy lycra so you have to make sure you have it you know nice and nice and implanted on top of the fabric because if you sew too much the, the sewing machine will actually pull and outstretch the lycra so it kind of happened to me you can see here once i actually zip it up it doesn't go in an absolute straight line i got some hiccups right here on the sides but that's all good i'll fix that and last post but that just zips up nice and good at the back right here I'll do that all on the cleaning jobs when you're doing your armor but again the zip just goes up nice and tight here at the back and the suit all comes together like a one piece and I actually cut the neck piece too small like I've said so I just added on this square section again it's just about adding and taking away from it where I thought was gonna be too too smaller I knew it was going to be too small but these were my daredevil trousers from way back when I kept these because I wanted to I maybe should have just added the shiny lycra to this but it might actually add to the boots more when the shiny lycra on top of the plain red lycra okay guys but again this can be used for a night wing this can be used for a lot of different builds honestly one piece suits if you want to do a red arrow you could do that power ranger a would be a lot different spider-man you have seen that before you can go and check out the process videos and how i made all those but this is just piecing together a young justice wally west one piece suit so far using yellow four-way stretch lycra fabric and red four-way stretch lycra fabric so thank you so much everyone for watching about to get into some detail and work and i'll actually show you it on and thank you so much here we are Oppa. So hi everyone, on this part this is going to be hard to design your lightning bolt belt piece. Okay, so this is going to be the lightning bolts going around your hips or your waist. What I'm using is a piece of Peltex and this is 30 centimeters in length. Okay, so any piece, you can use EVA foam, cardboard, this will work just as good, completely up to you. But at that mine's is 30 centimeters in length and 15 centimeters in width. Alright, now what I'm going to do is actually just mark out half of this draw out, make sure I have both lines, so 15 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters in length. Those are the dimensions you can do yours to whatever height you want, whatever size you want to wrap around your hips. Those are my dimensions. Right now at the top piece, I'm just about to start to draw my straight lines. So if you've actually looked look at some designs for the flesh, you know, belt piece, right now it's a lot of straight lines, but make sure your lines are matching up. You'll just see I start to roughly sketch out where I think the spikes in the belt portion should go and yeah that's all there is to it freehand make sure you have a ruler and a pen just keep designing out your pieces and freehand it at first and then start to go in with the straight lines of the ruler okay if it doesn't look right you can go in and redesign it all over again but right now you can see i have an overall shape of what i want the pieces to go to and then i start to go in and make sure the lines line up so i'm starting to draw those straight lines you can see the arcs match up to one another right now like so and that one doesn't really match up so here at the back so i'm actually start to resizing some pieces and there we are this is my belt portion you know the lightning pattern this can work for virtually if you want to do it around the hips if you want to do it around the thighs if you want to do it around you know the calf or the forearm areas size it down small it up either way up to you guys but i've just drawn this very quickly you can see you'll want the lines to maybe be parallel to one another it will make the design flow a lot better and all the lines are actually parallel to each other so the top one is parallel to the bottom those arcs are actually lining up in the middle with one another and yeah that all that's all there is to it i've designed a lot of other belt pieces and it didn't work out that well this one's going in a diagonal line you know so up my hips slightly it's not going in a straight line around the hip area okay any design is completely up to you and your creativity is only limited at your imagination right now what i'll do is just start to make sure that i size these down a bit so I actually thought, you know, one spike was a bit too, it was, it was a bit too much around my hip. So what I do right now is actually just bring it forward a bit more so that you can see those those arcs a bit more. And yeah, that, that's all there is to it. If you don't like how it looks one time, guys, just go back, redesign it. Keep refining your design down. You can see I've actually taken it in a lot. So I made sure that those lines actually matched up to one another again. I've taken the spike in slightly a bit and that's going to actually give it a whole better look around my hip area. That's how I designed that guys, a lot of technical jargon within it, straight lines, arcs, all that stuff, parallel lines. At the end of the day, you design whatever you want. Look at Google and look at reference pictures, they will be your best friend at the end of the day. 
and thank you so much for watching. I've said it a lot in this video, but this is a pretty long one. Here we are with the rest of the video, guys. Like all the other pieces guys, what we're going to do is wrap it in some fabric, okay? So once you've cut both your lightning pieces for your hip area, then you'll maybe want to colour or texture those. What I've done is use the hot glue gun and wrap the fabric around the Peltex. Like I do with all my other armour pieces, you can see it gives it a nice texture and tone, but they are now the red colour, okay? These are going to go around the hip area, you're about to see the suit and me in it. Sorry I didn't record, you know, the process of me gluing it on, and here we are with the actual suit on. So, hi everyone, you can see we're here at the end of the video, and this is the Young Justice fly suit so far. So you see me cut the shirt base, then you see me cut the sleeves, then you see me actually cut the lightning bolts coming around the waist area, and they are just sitting, you know, arcing around here around the hip. I've added a belt buckle, if you want to go watch the whole review video that I have for this, you can go and watch that. But yeah, this fits perfect, you can see I have the zipper here, and an actual elasticated piece of string so that that zips up and down very easily but yeah this has been the whole process of this suit i've made my own you know simple insignia the one thing i'm regretting i should have just went old school and did the one you know the one red piece you know so just without the white and the symbol in the back and the black area i just should have just had the red lightning bolt coming down for the classic wally west suit Maybe I'll probably do that, but yeah, I love how this looks and how it fits on. Nice and tight compression fit. And I just want to show you around the hip area for the lightning bolts. So that's the piece you just see me cut and wrap around. Yeah, that is it. The trousers attach perfect, so you can just see, you know, move back and forth. Uh, I can jump and stretch within the whole suit. Nothing is holding me back. So this has been it. This has been me making my one piece body morph suit for the Kid Flesh if you want. Again, pick up some yellow four-way stretch lycra fabric. Pick up some red four-way stretch lycra fabric. And that is you on the starter base to make your one-piece body suit. Okay, guys? Armor this up with whatever way you want. I'm about to make the mask and I'll probably make new gauntlets and probably build on some armor designs around this. But, as always, thank you so much for watching so far and watching this process video. If it helped you at all, please let me know down below. For me, everyone here at Ireland, you're amazing. Love you guys. Always at your geek speak. And yeah, see you later.